Good morning. This is Erica with Launching Legacies. Welcome to our daily devotional. Today we are going to talk about the feet of Jesus. So if you were right there in the beginning, you saw um, an image of the feet of Jesus. I'm going to show it to you again. There they go. These are the feet of Jesus, or at least my illustration of the feet of Jesus. They are posted on a wall. If you saw the movie, The War Wall or The War Room, it's like the prayer wall that she has in that movie. If you haven't seen it, it's a good movie. You should see it. But this is my prayer wall. And these are, this is a drawing of someone's feet um, that I got permission to use. And uh, they symbolize for me the feet of Jesus. So that helps us get ready for our devotional for today, sharing my prayer wall with you. Now, um, let's get to the scripture and what the context is for knowing, having the feet of Jesus on my wall, okay? So Luke, the 10th chapter, uh, the 38th through the 42nd verse, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation, says this. as um, It's called Jesus Visits Mar Martha and Mary. And so as Jesus and his disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the feet, at his feet, listening to what he taught. Okay, but Martha was distracted by a big dinner that she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, "Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me." But the Lord said to her, "My dear Martha, you are worried about and upset over all these details." There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary was has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her. Okay, so what is the passage talking about? Um, so Martha and Mary um, were, were entertaining Jesus, but while Martha was getting concerned about the entertainment, Mary, the scripture says in the 39th verse, sat at the Lord's feet, sat at his feet, listening to what he was teaching. So she's sitting there wanting time with Jesus and Martha is worried about all these details of this party. And so why do I have the Lord's feet on my prayer wall? Well, I have it there because it symbolizes putting our worries away, right? So Mary wasn't worried about a thing, right? <laughs> because she was sitting there at the feet of Jesus. She put all she all of her concerns and cares, what she looked like or what the house was decorated like or all of those things were outside of her mind. She wasn't thinking about those things. She was there at the feet of Jesus. And so what happens is sometimes when I'm praying about a particular thing, I'll be concerned about, oh, is this going to happen or how is this going to get done? So I know that that's not healthy, right? I know that that's not the way that I should be thinking about things that need to get done. And so instead of worrying about them, I literally put them under the feet of Jesus. So let's go back and visit Jesus' feet. It's up here again. Sorry. So now we have the feet of Jesus. And if you notice, there is tacked on by a whole bunch of other prayers, right? But if I lift them, there are notes under there, which I won't <laughs> give you a lot of time because you don't need to read them. But what's under there is a whole bunch of prayer requests. And the prayer requests tell you, I um, mean, are, are things that I needed to ask Jesus for that I put literally under his feet so I can't see them. So when I'm reading my prayer wall or praying my prayer wall, which is what I do, I'm sitting in the location that I will be sitting and I would pray down the prayer wall for different people or for different requests, depending on what it is. You can see the wall is kind of full. So I'll pray for different things on the wall, but then I'll also pray for the things that are under the feet of Jesus, meaning that my care and my concerns, the things that I have the hardest time letting go of, I need to put them under the feet of Jesus and decide never to go back to that request again. He's going to take care of it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm not going to find myself struggling with it anymore. I'm just going to keep them under the feet of Jesus and let them be things that he answers. So then the question you may be wondering is, does he answer the things that are under the feet of Jesus? He does. I only have two things left there, but I keep the tax there so I can remember what 
he's already answered, like how many prayers he's already answered. And I started with, um, well, I don't know when I started, but just uh, not recent, I mean, not too long ago, I had eight things under the feet of Jesus and everything is gone but two so he'll take care of it and actually you i do i don't know if it why why it works so well but i literally do forget about what things i put under the feet of jesus like i just decide i'm not going to be concerned about this i prayed about this i'm putting it under his feet there's nothing i can do to make this happen i won't be putting any effort in this direction all i'm going to choose to do is pray and so that's what i do and um i pray about it put it under the feet of jesus Jesus and leave it there and as I pray the prayer wall I'll say Lord and everything under the feet of Jesus and that's how I deal with it but um, it's an interesting idea but the concept is even bigger than just literally having the feet of Jesus I'm probably a very literal person but it's more about knowing that God is there to answer your prayers the end of that the passage that I read verse 42 says there's only one thing worth being concerned about this is jesus speaking and he says mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her and so what is he saying there's only one thing to be thinking about is jesus like his provision his way his answer to your issues is the thing that he wants us to be concerned about and he says then it will never be taken away from her why because she's learned to focus on the right position and so i know that if it's never going to be taken away from mary then it's never going to be taken away from me and so i keep his feet there as a reminder that he'll always care about whatever I might be worried about. He'll always be looking to answer that prayer. He'll always be looking to be there for me to respond. And so I keep my prayers under the feet of Jesus. And technically, I guess all of these things are under the feet of Jesus. Most of them have to do with other people. And so I need to be aware, you know, that I'm that, okay, I pray for it. And then when they, when I'm done praying for it, then I just remove it from the wall. But when I'm thinking about stuff that really, really concerns me and worries me, which is not the stuff that's visible, it's the stuff that's not visible, right? It's the stuff that I put under his feet. Then I want to make sure that those things don't become for me such a place of concern that I can't get past it, that I can't just keep going, that I can't keep worshiping God or trusting God or moving forward and listening to him. They, I don't want those things to distract me. So I put them under his feet. Well, I don't know what things might be worrying you, concerning you, distracting you, but I encourage you to find a place under his feet and put them there. Okay, put them under his feet. Maybe you'll be literal like me and literally have the feet of Jesus. But even if you don't, it's all it's all good. You sure don't you sure don't have to. But whatever you choose to do, remember that there is a place for your worries and concerns. There is a place for every weight and every burden that wants to distract you and every prayer that you're not sure how it's going to come true. There's a place for that. And it's under the feet of Jesus. Let's look at it again. There they go. Put it under his feet. I'm praying for you. I hope that you are praying for us. Um, please be praying for Launching Legacies. We appreciate it. And we are praying for you. And until tomorrow, have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.